first to arrive onto the contact. I don't want to shorten the reins up until I feel the amount of weight I want. Because at the end of the day, it's not really about me. And every horse has its own signature amount of weight they want in their mouth. And I mean, if I had a metal bar in my mouth, I would tell you, I would like someone with nice hands and friendly hands to make the bit somewhere I would want to go. And so this horse, she's very, very light. She's a horse that uh, doesn't want to stretch down. She's wonderfully tempered, but you know, always wanting to like look around and see, you know, what's going on. It's a very busy place here in particular. But to really get this horse to stretch down and raise her back and seek the contact and land softly into my hands, that's a bit better walk there. You know, she's, she's ambitious and she's excited to get to work. And so stretching and taking a long step is not necessarily that easy for her. So I always equate it to a little bit that it's a shy dog, right? It's a dog that doesn't walk up to you right away. And, you know, I think about that as the horse's contact. And just as I would never go up to that shy dog and like grab it by the collar and be like, come over here, dog, you know, that would just scare it, you know, even more. I look away, I would have my hand out and it's important I wait. I wait for the shy dog to approach me. And that's very much the same principle I use in horses that are very shy in the contact. It's okay he wants to have light. It's okay she wants to have light reins, you know. Then it's up to me to be able to match her, her comfort level. So what I'm going to do is I keep her very secure on my, on my knees and I make her wait, just like in the Montana video, right? I need to always make her wait and feel like I can yield her a little bit from my right leg, right leg, right leg. And I want to offer a steady connection on both reins. And like there, I'm just going to sit and I'm just going to let her find me. She finds me. I want to be able to have a forward thinking hand that she feels she can, again, always seek my hand and shelf her neck. Right here is the most important part that she feels like she can connect that neck. And of course, I do a lot of this at the walk so that she can feel, she can step into, into my contact with her hind legs. Mm -hmm.